Hi guys, so we are going to debunk this video by um, PCA Siege, um, which is um, gender is not a social construct, that gender dysphoria is biological. Um, yeah, I recommend you to watch the video, um, it's in the description. Um, yeah, um, let's start. Here's a brain teaser for you. If sex is biological and gender is a social construct, then how the fuck is gender dysphoria a biological condition? All right, so um, we start out with a pretty, with a pretty heavy claim, or, or a pretty weird quiz. Um, to quote um, a Discord friend, Corey six eight seventy, um, gender dysphoria is when a person's gender identity doesn't align their per sex, and that means much cause distress or discomfort to the person. The reason many transgender individuals need to have that alignment does have links on how the gender, on how gender and sex are often viewed at which in society as, as interchangeable. There is a lot of pressure to be seen as others as your actual gender identity, which is difficult if you don't transition and get to a point where you pass. Because most people in society actively disrespect and will not have people who go against societal norms. To quote another disco friend, um, Agnaud's 3746, because our society has linked the made up role of gender to biological features, trans people want to be a different gender and believe that there can only be that gender if they look like what most people believe that the gender looks like. They want to conform to society's construction of gender. I'm not going to like, I'm, I'm going to actually ignore them um, for this video um, since yeah, they deserve their own video and honestly like, yeah. about gender dysphoria occurred to me while watching the debate because Contra and many others including Bill Nye of all people my my bro um yeah um it would be pretty good if yeah you didn't put it, like random memes on your videos especially with with that treat these topics um like that are quite serious, um, such as gender, um, you know, um, trans people and dysphoria and stuff. Um, it will be pretty good, like, for you to m not make jokes in this video. There are. Indeed, um, yeah, basically sex is, um, your genitals and gender is basically what you perceive yourself as. It doesn't have anything to do, um, with each other. Um, they are incorrelated. Um, yeah. Again, your pronoun is you know, um, is false, um, I, like, yeah, the two friends have this problem in it, um, I really didn't have an idea, but, like, that's why I can't, I sort of asked, but, um, yeah, thanks to them for having help, but, um, yeah, still, um, you should probably not base your entire video on a lie. It is uh, a YouTube commenter named Duo Gaze. Um, thanks to thanks to them for like having made this point. Um, like for having made such a huge like comment about you must uh, like many of the points. Um, indeed, eight points. Um, yeah. To quote. Your understanding of gender dysphoria is faulty. It is not biological. There is no gene or genes that you, that you say you are determined to have gender dysphoria. Gender dysphoria is psychological and can be and can only be psychological. 
Oh shit. And kind of like be psychological. It is based on an individual interaction with a society that exists. This person grows up in a very gender society, telling this gender society implicitly. Gender dysphoria comes about when the individual disagrees with this gender society, disagrees how, with how society defines them and treats them, this causes a lot of distress. It causes distress because this society does not affirm the internalized identity. Imagine having a very integral identity to your well-being. And everyone constantly says, that's not the real you, you're actually this other thing, yourself, who you are and, when, and who do you want to be, is being denied to you. Gender is a social construct. Everything associated with the sociological understanding of gender is social, meaning it is created, maintained and destroyed by social interaction. We are, we as a society agree that scares out for women that dolls are for women, that football is for men, that blue is for men. These are social beliefs. These are not inherent to humanity. They can't be inherent because a man can wear a skirt and play with dolls. A woman can play football and enjoy the color blue. This capacity for ability to stretch across gender lines proves gender is social. If it were biological, no man could do womanly things. No woman could do manly things. It is literally impossible because their biology makes it impossible. With that said, it will only make sense than to say that our biology offers us a wide range of human expression. Men can be womanly, women can be manly, they could even just not consider things manly or womanly at all. By the way, um yeah, they're also a transgender envy person and study sociology and gender. So yeah, um, indeed, um, yeah, thanks to them for having made that point. Um, mega shout out this air, definitely. So yeah, um, with that, I could basically just end the entire debunk here. Um, since most of the rest of the video is based on that, but um, on those lies, but um, well, okay, I'm going to continue. I have, the, I have 1.25. fuck can you be born with a condition about a social, psychological concept? The truth is that this is not true, or rather, it is not universally true. Because all the flaccid, effeminate, soft social sciences like to make this clear distinction, but the medical field doesn't. The medical field does. Um, many scientists support the separation of sex and gender, um, despite his claims. Although um, it is hard to find a specific percentage. Um, I tried for hours, but um, I wasn't able to find one, so yeah. I don't think he was able to find one either. You know, the community that classifies and treats people with gender dysphoria, the one that firm, robust, master of hard sciences, is supposed to be based on empirical science? So what is the medical definition of gender? Fortunately, it's easy to find. It's right there, in the DSM. Gender. The, the, the DSM, um, yeah. Um, I wonder what a book about mental disorder has to do um, with gender dysphoria. No, it is not a mental disorder. Um, it's used to denote the public with role as boy or girl, man or woman. But in contrast to certain social constructionist theories, biological factors are seen as contributing in interaction with social and psychological factors to gender development. There's three things... Um, he, so here's a surveyor's definition of gender by the APA. Um, nothing, which is extremely weird, um, like, so, um, to either intentionally make further points that prove his claims, or because it was the first intention that he, definition that he found, although, yeah, it's most likely because, yeah, he specifically used that definition because he had, it fitted his pre-made narrative. That is similar to like Thunderfoot, um, yeah, the video by Thunderfoot, like, 
that I made four days ago. Yeah, basically that. One, biology influences gender. Two, look at that nice little fuck you to the social science. Indeed, like your definition is actually, is indeed biased. Um, yeah, this is a quite quite a crazy self debunk actually. Like he's literally proving right, that yeah, it is biased. Yeah, just let's just like yeah. Indeed, indeed. Also, it's cool. With, um, MVP poll. Um, yeah, like all of the all of the other gender minorities, which are quite a lot to like start describing them in a video. How oh, sad indeed. No, there aren't. Um, like, just because your bias book says so, um, doesn't mean that it actually, there actually are two genders. Um, yeah, I could also say, like, I could also go to quite literally, like, any LGBTQ, like, LGBTQ, um, wiki and, yeah, like, just copy paste the TR seventy two genders and pro and prove it so um people can lie, you know. Alright, gender identity. Um I have this um where the where do I where the fuck do I have this? By the way, I'm reading out um and a document that I made specifically for this. Um, so yeah. What are your gender identity? A category of social identity and refers to an individual's identification as male, female, or occasionally some category other than male or female. Um. So that definition is at least um not so horrible since it actually includes um, you know other genders other than male or female. Um, but the actual definition is gender identity, the personal sense of one's own gender. Gender identity can correlate with a person's assigned sex and can differ from it. Emphasis on or can differ from it. Um, yeah. Um, that is literally from Wikipedia. I'm not like pulling shit out of like, I don't know, like some random like antifa sources or some shit this is literally like quite literally the first thing that you will find if you ask it's like uh, just put um gender identity definition on my like, google or some shit barely like even making an effort to debunk this so yeah going to add this as a source in like i forgot all right there you go. A nice little for you to use. Gender identity is a social construct, while gender is a mix. So why the fuck is this important? Gender is in a mix. It is a social construct. Again, as I said that, um, yeah, the commenter said it, like, please, this is actually insane. To all guys, I mean, um, yeah, shout out to him again. By now, I may as well to start skipping some parts, but um, yeah, I don't know. Okay. I'm making some sort of irrelevant wordplay definitions argument that distracts from the real issues. Well, first of all, this is a semantic argument, which are the words kind of are. No, this distinction is a real issue because, right, there is a distinction. Now, various social groups are lobbying the APA, trying to pressure them into removing the men. Oh yeah, sources? Um, yeah, obviously not. Um, yeah, this is literally the no sources guy right here, or like, literally classical, um, I am my own source kind of shit. Um, yeah, turns out, um, they don't. We aren't in a position to, um, like, start loving the APA to remove the the label, um, they are just a bunch of big ads. So yeah, um, absolutely made that. Uh, also, um, this label from gender dysphoria, and this isn't because the condition doesn't fit our current definition of a mental illness, it's because.
because of feels. It isn't because of feels. Um, it literally does not um have anything to do with like any sort of mental illness. Um, nor does it have to do with any disorders or something. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, just classical like straight up transphobia right there. And and I'll, oh, and also like the classical SJW like are triggered because I said that I don't know like trans people are in Bali. <laughs> I don't know. This is absolutely insane. That is a strawman argument again. Um, literally, no one ever made that claim. Psychological people. So the problem is by attempting to cement this idea that gender is entirely social into the mind of masses, they're implying that everything under the label of transgender is social. It is. It is. I. I. I am. Um, yeah. The, the Discord friends, um, I mean, I, um, Core, Agnaut, and Duo Gays have already debunked this, um, is biological. Wait. it isn't, please refer back to the comment. You thought transgender only meant people that want to transition from male to female, or vice versa? Trans, like transition. So people with gender dysphoria, right? No! Transgender is an incredibly broad label that everyone has a somewhat different definition for. It is, um, still, um, wait a minute, let me get the definition, um, where am I? Okay, um, a transgender, often abbreviated as trans person, is someone who, whose gender identity or gender expression does not correspond with their sex as are not there. Um, let's see. Let's see they take. Transgender refers to the broad spectrum of individuals who transiently or permanently identify with a gender different from their gender at birth. Um, technically, yes, somewhat true, but, um, still. So that includes people with gender dysphoria, gender queer, gender nonconformist, and all those various lists of genders that straight white manly men like me don't care about. Indeed. Not that I. I shun preconceived notions of masculinity in order to express my true feelings. Listen, kid, I think if people come from over to that place. Again, please do not put drag random memes on, on like your video essays. Since you know it is a pretty serious topic, like unless like in in like not so serious topics that yes, yeah, you know don't involve like like an entire community's worth of people. Um yeah, like email all the what you want, but um yeah, like this is not the moment to meme about shit. Um, looking at it from quite literally any other angle, that is, that it seems like extremely stupid. Um, all of them have to do with gender, all of them have to do with transgender, and yeah, it is weird. It's like saying, um, black holes, white holes, and warm holes are like, cannot be grouped together, like, despite that scientifically, um, yeah, must... Yeah, science does because they are all anomalies from the space and in space, time and gravity. Um, yeah, they have quite, they, like quite literally, uh, just because, um, just because of the the legitimacy of it or like the existence of it, um, matters. Um, this still um, same category. Um, as I said, um, it is like if you, um, didn't group together, um, black holes and white holes because only black holes are confirmed to exist. That is simply not, like, 
from quite literally any other angle that makes no sense. Alright, so um, yeah, he basically this is the trans community of creating their own distinction between gender, which is, um, yeah, I will take it as basically a scapegoat for any person with an IQ of more than one goes and tell him that he's based on ideas for gender are wrong. Yeah, essentially just. Yeah, essentially just a scapegoat. It should. It, it has literally everything to do with, like, it has to with, do with gender, it has to do with trans, it has to do, like, with all of that shit. Please, just because one is, like, is in your world, like, uh, is in your world biological and the other are um, social construct doesn't mean gender dysphoria isn't even like isn't even biological please I'll refer back to the previous comment by the all guys gender dysphoria has biological evidence this stuff doesn't gender dysphoria is a disorder this stuff isn't again that is not enough to like differentiate it That is not what a disorder is, um, like, it is, like, um, it is not that disorder because it is not supposed to happen, um, again, not only is it based on a lie, but also it is a grown definition, again, um, a psychological pattern associated with distress or disability that occurs in an individual and it is not a part of normal development or culture. Um, gender dysphoria is not a really a stress of or disability, like for example, nature of divergences or like, or some else like, so there are other actual disorders. Oh, and by the way, um, you should not say normal in this case, as you should say cis or cisgender. Truly, a nineteen eighty four moment for you and your like fan base that is, that cannot like even begin comprehending that to even use the word says. Mechanically, that because if it was, humans would have never made it past prehistoric times. Alright, uh, okay, yeah, pretty lovely that to say that if everyone had gender dysphoria we would be still in prehistoric times. Um again not source on anything, not source on like yeah anything at all. Um can't really debunk that if like he just makes up like stuff the only thing I can say is that it's made up because it changes the way the medical community treats the issue as Blair herself said Again, um, no. Again, it is simply not, um, it is simply, like, not, a, not the best argument, like, like, the, we have, we have to treat, like, this for as a mental illness because we can deny the mental, re the medical reality, because, uh, yeah, um, as you may have noticed, um, yeah, that they said even in the debate, 
there's no way that you can ask that, that you can't accept people while also trying to find a, to find a cure for their problems. Um, from fact, you can. Oh, and also, um, you don't have that is not science rocket. Um, you can just like let people transition. Um, transition is an um, is a proven solution for gender dysphoria. Um, by many testimonies, um, yeah, like that is simply yeah, it's like he's he tells them so like trying to find another solution is pointless because there isn't another solution. The only one is actually transitioning, or at least the or at least the one that begs that yeah works the best and yeah leaves all parties satisfied but sitch there's people who want to transition but don't have the dysphoria and that's why it's there is also a very uncommon point um i assume he's like trying to portray um progressive arguments but um i quite literally never heard anything like that and i have been a uh, and I have been a progressive for quite a long time since, yeah, yeah, for quite a while now. So yeah, it's kind of weird that I wasn't able to find that. Um, yeah. By the way, um. Again, based on a lie, um, so yeah, he's now also using an outdated term for transgender, um, yeah, because of a lie he previously made, lovely. Um, this video is from 2017 um, and yet we have seen ba barely any progress from then um, you know why is that because both are psychological both are social constructs but like gender dysphoria isn't biological it is a social construct it is psychological Nothing to do. Biological medical test to determine whether someone is suffering from gender dysphoria. We don't yet have a biological way of measuring what someone's in a gender or gender identity is, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. We have Indeed. Um although there have very many tests, um that have come quite close. Um obviously they are not one hundred percent accurate, but um Nothing in this life is 100% accurate. Did you know that? Wow, no way. <laughs> like, that is absolutely 100% new, my, like, absolutely. The evidence that is indeed innate, but not clear, put you in a scan. Hey, look, you've got gender dysphoria. That is, you have biological gender dysphoria, not a psychological issue. Both are the same. Gender dysphoria is a social construct. What the fuck? Why do I have to repeat this so many times? Um, again, I'm probably going to like stop stop um adding these arguments because it's literally always the same. I, like, I don't want to repeat ten million more times that there's no distinction between them as both are social constructs. Um, that since gender dysphoria is a social construct, it yeah, it is 
social construct plus social construct, which is social construct. So yeah, we're going to skip most of this because it, yeah, it's literally just making random claims on previously based lies. And there's no point like kicking around the bush. <laughs> All right, that is that is a good argument. Transfuget is so extremely rare that bringing it up is effectively useless as an argument. It is literally a one in a million case. Um, yeah. Oh, also, I love the the I portray you as the subject that this dude is giving. Alright, so yeah, he basically dismisses the entire argument. Lovely. The DSM is supposed to act as a guidebook to help doctors make the distinction between someone who's actually suffering from gender dysphoria and someone who is not biological versus psychological. But Sitch, I just read the DSM criteria of gender dysphoria, and there's nothing specifically in it about making this distinction between biological versus psychological. Indeed, because it's fake. It is simply not. It simply does not exist. It's just based on a previous lie. Like, dude. Um, yeah, like, basically just, um, for every part that I don't show, um, it's probably because he basically just keeps doing that same argument over and over again. To which I can respond with the same thing over and over again. Um,. Yeah, that basically it is indeed different, or rather that it is indeed the same, um, because because social construct plus social construct is still social construct. So yeah. Yes, and that's because psychiatry looks at stuff through primarily a biological lens. So they're operating from the place of if you don't have a biological reason for something, then you don't have it. Okay, so then um, he basically self debunked. Um, he basically meant that they don't care about the psychology around it and just care about the biology. Understanding transgender issues is new, and the DSM 5 was written before that. <laughs> Alright, basically a self debunk also, too. Um, indeed, this is the part where I like. Where it connects with when I said that it was an outdated book, he himself admits it. Like this is absolutely insane. Um, yeah, and really begs the question of why he, yeah, of why he even used the book at all. This creates a problem, and since we don't yet know how to create a definitive biological test, we can. Keyword you. Um, that is a pretty, yeah, that is a pretty dead giveaway. Um, of like, what does he think about like how consensual it is it to um to be trans? Which is spoiler, not a lot. Um, I have barely even met um trans people in real life, but um. I have met quite a lot in the internet across the years, and yeah, can, can definitely confirm to you that, yeah, they indeed do not have any input on being trans. It is not a choice, it is, yeah, I don't know, man. It just seems like random extra transphobia and bigotry, and like, just to score extra points. Which I am not blaming the transgender 
You are. Because they're confusing the poor children. There is no hidden dog whistle in what I'm saying. I am only stating what is the reality of the situation. All right. Um. Yeah. This is like an extremely common um. Yeah. Point by the right. Honestly, in general, like of saying um of when like they're confronted with opposition to say um. I am not doing any dog whistle, I'm just stating the capital F facts and the capital T truth, nothing else. Um, yeah, this is a common opening move in the far right radicalization tactic game to present your text as the facts and bias. Um, he has many other videos explaining, like, literally, that literally are around, um, yeah, the fact that other people call him a right, like, on from the alt right, so yeah. Um, luckily, you know that, and uh, now you know too. So yeah, we're spared. Unfortunately, because our society until recently has been very bigoted against individuals who don't fit in strict gender roles, the trans community is incredibly sensitive to anything that can even remotely be perceived as an attack. All right, that is an extremely massive version of all trans people are snowflakes harder or something like that. Um, yeah, it would be funny if it was believable. Which I understand. Her condition is the medical community and even society's duty to make sure that individual really requires that treatment. And having medical treatments that were either over-prescribed or turned out horrible have littered our history. From bloodletting to shock treatment, to even staring at the sun for health reasons. And we can't forget about lobotomies. Even now, they're... Again, just like people transition, it has historically works, like, so well that it li it's literally a miracle if, like, it happened in literally any other, like, field of medicine. Like, please, bro. Um, so sadly, he isn't, he isn't giving, like, any interest to the trans community, so yeah, like, he obviously has to, has to avoid, do, like, talking about that. The concerns about kids being overprescribed Adderall and Ritalin, which is basically speed, not to mention all the people addicted to painkillers. Now, perhaps I am sensitive about this, because I... Again, it is, it is in rocket science, my dude. Please. From it's not the problem itself. Allow me to give you a very oversimplified example. Let's look at Game of Thrones. Cersei has stated on several occasions that she wishes she was born a male. And if say there was some magic potion in Game of Thrones that could change your sex, you better believe Cersei would drink it in a heartbeat. Alright, so um he gives an example about gender differing Game of Thrones. Um I wonder why didn't he didn't give an example. Um, in real, in real life, you know, um, I wonder why, maybe that simply, like, the example that he's giving literally never happens in real life, I don't know, man, maybe, yeah, just kidding. But the reason for this is not because she is, the doctor evaluated whether someone has gender dysphoria needs to concentrate on making sure the underlying problem is that the person feels that they are born the wrong gender because they simply are something biologically innate. Not that they were born the wrong gender because they develop a negative psychological complex about what it means to be their birth gender or a negative psychological complex about a specific body part that just so happens to be a body part related to biological sex. Again, this never happens in real life. You're just making up stuff. Indeed. percent sure that that is a fake story um that he absolutely made up 
are. How incredibly disturbing and sometimes scary for her it was to see grown men lusting sexually after her. And it Indeed, but that is um a completely different issue, my man. Like, this is not a video about that. Like, <laughs> um, yeah, you're just mixing a like water, and not, and it doesn't work. Um, straw man. Um. Um, yeah, that is simply not true. Um, most feminists that I have met throughout my throughout my life have been like, um, just want to let people live. Like, I don't know, man. Like, you seem like the exact kind of view that is getting out of his simple that out of his simple about feminists by like SJW bad like compilations of yeah which were quite popular by this time still um considering it was made in april of 2017 yeah i don't know why he's the like i'm sorry for having like Stop near that argument, but um, I don't know what is the obsession of like the upright with the Rosie the Riveter um image, um, that is a World War Two image like for propaganda purposes like set to all to all like women like, all right so um just because like literally every man is fighting um in a war um. Yeah, please go, like, maintain the, like, go work in the industry for a bit before, like, going back to being basically your husband's slave. Yeah. Um, like, nothing to do. Um, yeah, like, even prayer, you, like, also has, like, that obsession with her. Uh, yeah, that is actually stupid. That is terrible behavior, not like anything else than that. Um, as an romantic person, um, that that fits especially close to home, since, um, yeah, for the most part, like it is also known that most most of most of us that come out, um, yeah, are often told that are you are you sure that you don't want a relationship or like are you sure that you don't want like a girlfriend or boyfriend and stuff like that um that you should not say that um if someone is coming to you is like coming out to you um it's probably because um they are 100 percent um yeah certain about their about their thing um yeah that is just shitty behavior by the rest of society nothing else There's no, there's literally like, no difference, like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about, like, holy, I am so legendary tired. <laughs> Um, that is an apples and oranges fallacy, um, he's comparing the gender binary to the separation of sex and gender, um, both have completely different, um, yeah, both are completely different issues with different reasons for it, and different proof for it, and stuff, and different, like, implications for it, and yeah, I can't. Go, I could go on, but like 
at this point this is quite literally the absolute last point of the video um yeah this is like literally three seconds after this is the outro so yeah um we have finally arrived at the end of the video um in my document i pinpointed 30 points um but um actually there are another few um first i call out the other eight that duo guys said in their comment um yeah it's basically just eight extra points um i have already read that out so yeah um another comment that i found was by a commenter named Wasp. I still do not consider this bit as useful for trans people issues. It's more likely will be used by trans folks as an attack on trans women in general. We all just lump together. So again, who will suffer the most? Correct answer, trans people will. Usual being more, more examples of actual trans people instead of tomboys and the wrong readings of Cersei's character. You then, for some reasons, I had a, a reversal to some of this issue. I was always considered that to be a feminist and a tomboy, and it pissed me off. I hated it with a passion. I always said that it wasn't a girl, and my main issue always was the lack of, the lack of penis. It has nothing to do with it, both it or anything social, literally. Mostly with sex, I simply can't have it because I don't have it what. Um, so yeah, essentially, so in a nutshell, the, the comment, um, the part, the, inter the important part of the comment is that, yeah, essentially, um, despite all of the claims in the video, um, that this is like actually a constructive critique, um, yeah, trans people will suffer the most, suffer the most of thoughts this video. Since you know, um, despite of the, the facade of this is actually constructive, don't mind, yeah, like it isn't. Also, um, an, another comment by Jesse Wolf, um, um, thanks to him, also. Um, gender dysphoria is made up from body dysphoria, biological sex, etc and social dysphoria, pronouns, sir, lady, etc. So it's a mi mix of biology and social construct. Um, I sort of disagree, um, but yeah, it is also interesting to point out that that specific um, yeah, take. So yeah, um, he's also a trans FTM. Another one by um, chatbot 000, um, is. In my opinion, the core of your video is sound, but some of the takeaways aren't great. Like, people are just confused about transsexual versus transgender. Have you considered that some people are merely confused, but are maliciously apathetic to this difference or the meaning of the label of mentally ill? Nice semantic arguments, but um, people aren't respecting your semantics on their day to day or in memes. Which, yeah, um, the main takeaway is that, yeah, is that the takeaways are great. And also the mentally ill so is, is a semantic argument. Um, yeah, that is why I chose it to highlight it here. And another one was um, by Joaquin Marquez Cerda, which is, did you know that being gay was a DSM condition? Um, this is the same shit. Um, it is true, um, the, like, the perception of the world, um, against, um, against minorities, um, of this, of this type, um, are constantly changing, probably for the better, um, I mean, yeah, like, some, in some parts are going backwards, but, um, okay, mostly forwards, so at least, like, yeah, at least it is more unpopular um, considering that gay and trans people are mentally ill or whatever. And indeed, um, yeah, also in probably the DSM, like 
sixth version maybe like it will be also like removed similar to being gay um so yeah um this video in a in conclusion is a shit box of transphobic lies stramas and misconceptions about gender and should never be used for anything else other than to laugh than to laugh at to quote big buff anti bigot barney um this video is invalidating and gross as well as the comments i hope you can change as a person and educate yourself um another thing to note um the last thing to note actually is that um yeah like finding most of these comments were tricky since they were um yeah like most of them were just praising psa um for having done this video for having done the video um yeah but yeah i was able to find a few um similar to fun to, to thunderfoot's video so yeah the source list is in the description, um, yeah, um, I guess I'll see you later, um, I don't have anything to say, I, I hope you have liked this, and may, I maybe, you know, um, maybe subscribe, um, again, thanks to, um, as in Discord users, Agnaud3746, Gord6870, and in YouTube commenters, Dua Gaze, Wasp, Jesse Wolf, Big Buff and the Big Up Barney, Jetbo 000, Joaquin Martes y Joaquin Martes Cerda, and you who has like reached the end of the video. Thank you.